Good morning. The car you're looking at is a car I'm currently working on. My name is Richard Lewis. I'm a classic car and micro car restorer. I sell cars at Barrett Jackson and that's where these cars are going. They're going to be auctioned off at Barrett Jackson to support the Million Kids charity that uh, deals with providing services to trafficked children. Um, in the 1930s, um, you would have powered your car not by a Briggs & Stratton, not by a Honda go-kart racing engine. You would have powered it with a Maytag washing machine motor, and that's what this little car has. This is car number uh, two of the two that we're building. We have another car that's just like it, number one in the production series we're making. And these two cars are going to go to auction to support the Million Kids charity. In the 1930s, if you would have opened up your uh, your 1938 May issue of Modern Mechanics magazine, you see the cover story is making your own little race car. And many kids opened that up and there was the car of their dreams, a Maytag sidewalk runabout. And they had a little five page article that explained how to build one of these at home. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're building a couple of these to benefit the, the kids and uh, and we're going to uh, be auctioning those off at Barrett Jackson. So the Maytag engine is a fantastic little motor. It was a, a well designed and well thought through motor for a, a trouble free engine for mom or grandma to be able to do the wash. And I'll show you how it starts. This is the foot pedal that would have been underneath the washing machine. As you can see we've got a little clutch on the right hand side there that controls how much power goes to the rear wheel. And there's a little kill switch. So we're looking forward to finishing these cars up. They're going to be exciting little cars, really cute, and a part of automotive history that many automotive buffs are just not aware of because there's so few of these cars around. There's no known survivors of the car that you're looking at. We're having to recreate this from that article, just like you would have in the 1930s if you were a kid and your dad in the garage. It's furniture quality oak that we've made it out of. We've borrowed some parts from modern go-karts in order to make the car safe and have good brakes. But many of these pieces are fabricated just like you would have done back then in the 1930s. So we look forward to these cars uh, going to auction and what they will bring to benefit a million kids. Thank you.